so here in um, this salmon gum remnant that's been fenced off for at least 25 years where we, um, we see a whole range of hollows available to um, corellas and galahs but um, also there's plenty of vegetation in the lower to mid and then the upper layers um, basically foliage for small birds like weebills and um, probably thornbills towards um, the denser parts of the remnant um, to, to glean and to, to get their insect intake um, and we've also stumbled across a, a nesting common bronze wing um, on a horizontal branch of a salmon gum back there. So there are resources, a, model, a range of resources here. There's a lot of seed on the ground, escapit pasture species, escapees and, and, and other species, but nonetheless um, there's a range of habitats here available for uh, hollow nesting birds, for foliage gleaning insectivorous birds, and for um, granivorous birds such as the common bronze wing. So um, this type of um, fairly wide remnant and the fact that it's been fenced off for so long is a nice contrast to areas that have been more recently fenced or yet to be fenced, uh, which we've also looked uh, at as part of this project. We've come across um, a wedged out eagle nest in, in this large um, salmon gum over here and it's just been so built up over years of use and um, there's a lot of guano there on different sides suggesting it's still in use. Um, doesn't look like anybody's home right now but what you actually find in some of these nests is that zebra finches in more arid areas uh, tend to nest underneath in the, in the understructure of, uh, of the nest uh, for protection and for um, uh, ease of access into the you know, building nests within the fissures of the network or the labyrinth of um, branches that have been laid in there. So um, it's it's a classic. Uh, we occasionally do come across these, and they always, almost, almost always. Here's one now. Actually, the wedge tailed eagle is coming in right now. So proving that this very much is an active nest. I, I would say that eagle saw us, so it has backed away. But um, this. It's almost always in these larger trees with suitable archi architecture of the trunks, so the different angles for, for positioning. It's a very heavy stick nest and gets embellished over the years. So um, this eagle is around and, and once we go, we'll come back in there. It could well be a young bird there um, in, the, uh, in, the top, in the top chamber. So exciting, great.